Hey guys, Lee from Overbyte Gaming here, and today we are reviewing Command and Conquer yes, Remastered you Collection. Can. Now, this is essentially Command and Conquer and Red Alert with its I'm expansions out. and a bit of modernization no going on, and that's your lot. It's not a massive difference in terms of gameplay, it's just it sorts out any possible issues you may have had running the old ones, which I didn't really have any. I mean, I bought the entire collection on Origin when that came out, and they seem to run fine. But I imagine there's people out there that do have problems, especially if you're running off the, uh, the original discs. Now, what it does do in terms of modernizing it and changing it is uh, you get a new graphics mode, which you can toggle real time by using space. It actually, when you first go into it, it's in the old style graphics. So you look like a little bit like, what? And then you go to the menu, look at the controls, and you're like, oh, oh, there we go. Uh, they look nice. They're, it's not like AAA quality graphics or anything, but it is a nice little upgrade and does go up to 4K resolution, which is always a plus. And this is the sort of game where most rigs with a decent uh, graphics card and processor will be able to run it in 4K, no problems whatsoever, because RTS, you know, getting 144 hertz isn't really the toppest priority in that at all. Uh, it also allows you to stack building units. Uh, so there's there's been a few sort of tweaks to the actual way the game plays as well, just to bring in some more modern stuff. There is, is some stuff missing, uh, like you can't set waypoints, so you can't like select your uh, barracks, create a waypoint, and then all of the soldiers produced from that barracks will go to that waypoint instead of just hanging out the front. Uh, so there was, there's not a huge amount of improvements done. As I say, it's a nice little graphical overhaul, and if it was selling for sixty dollars, there's no way in hell I could recommend it. Uh, as it happens, it's selling a fear. I think it's sixteen pounds, fifteen ninety nine, something like that. Uh, so it's it's very affordable, and for what it does, I don't really have a problem with it at that price point. I mean, it is banking on a lot of nostalgia, and it does do a good job with that. It has got some remix remix music in it, uh, but you can also set it to play the old tracks exclusively or the new tracks, or just have like a a mix of the two. So. It does give you the options there, and crucially, it does come with Steam Workshop support. So you're getting mods come in, so you, there's already ones for different zoom levels, uh, additional maps, and cheats. They're all available right now on Steam Workshop for you. So if, you, if you're interested in that, I mean, I'd like quite interested to see what's coming down the line. Perhaps the waypoint system will be implemented via that strategy. So it's all good. And it's Command and Conquer. Now I've I bought the original Command and Conquer when it came out after buying the original Doom Doom 2. Command and Conquer was the one that really sort of thrust uh, RTSs into the limelight. I mean, Doom Doom 2 was uh, very similar to Command and Conquer. It played very similarly and was the first. But for me, Command and Conquer was the one that just sort of boy, sort of stuck its hands up in the air and went, look, look, look at this. This is cool. Do this, and then everybody did it. Uh, I actually put the original from Toys R Us. I remember it clear as day. Um, my mate Jason came around the next day while I was trying to play. I was, had to be nice to him until he went away and I can continue playing. It. <laughs> um, but essentially, it's it's all the same game. You've got the expansions in there, so um, you still get some of the, um, the the very irritating missions where you get a limited amount of forces, or in some cases, just the uh, just the commando, which I'm terrible at. I think there's me getting run over by a tank in the footage. <laughs> I mean, I am thoroughly terrible at RTS games, but uh, there is a difficulty option. I can't off the top of my head remember if there was difficulty options in the first one. I would assume so, but I'm not sure. But the easy setting does seem easier than I remember it being originally. So uh, for complete rubbish people like me, you know, you've got the option there. Uh, to not have to go away and download that cheat mod. Well, that would I'll probably end up getting the cheat mod as well. And on, on a side note, Tango Echo Alpha, I got your message, pal. I, I did see it. It was one of those ones where I saw it fairly late on and when I respond to that later, closed it and then didn't respond to it. So sorry about that, but yeah. I, you've, he's challenged me to a game of it and basically I'm like, oh, well, that's just kind of like asking me to lose you at some point in the future, but I'll yes, tell you what, I'm up for that, we'll sort it out. Uh, Tango is yes, a fellow YouTuber that we, yeah, sort of friend of the show, really. So I'll put his li a link to his channel in the description down below. Um, another English YouTuber, likes his tea, 
very cool guy so check him out anyway guys I'm going to round it up there because there's really not much to say. I mean, if you've never played Command & Conquer, um, then you, what have you been doing with your life? <laughs> but seriously, if you go back and buy this, after coming off of like more recent stuff like uh, StarCraft II, RTSs that are much more modern, then you may be a little bit like, this, this is archaic, what is this? Uh, so it is trading on Nostalgia Factor big time, but... If, like me, you played it when it first came out, and having a nice little graphical bump and a few modernizations thrown in, as well as the lesser difficulty in my case, I would imagine the harder difficulty is significantly harder as well for those real pro players out there. So, um, yeah, but for 16 quid, it can't go wrong for me. And I would rate it a solid 8 out of 10, because how much is the best? Anyway, guys, did you buy it? Let me know what you thought about it down below. And um, we release videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. Snare kills me if I don't get this bit in. <laughs> and again, Snare would like to extend thanks for all of the recent interest on his uh, Star Citizen videos because he was fairly flabbergasted in the amount of interaction he's had. Normally, they just call him uh, Ugly Prick, which, okay, most of those comments come from my alternate accounts, but uh, we won't tell him that. Anyway, guys, take it easy.